Okay, we're back. I had to actually figure out how to get back here because the game is a weird save system. It actually uh, auto saves when you pick up items, which I guess is a a good idea. But um, I thought it would auto save me here, and it auto saved me back in the silo over there. Yeah, over there. Um, so like I got lost and I was trying to get back here. So we're back now. Um, I made sure not to pick anything up so that we didn't lose anything. Uh, so again, here's where we are. So we're stuck in this. We can't go that way. The tractor with a propane tank on it is here. Seems dangerous. Um, and yeah, so we're going back to the barn where we left off. And we're going to go in the barn because we didn't actually go in the barn last time. We kind of bypassed things as I was in a hurry for some reason. So, let's see. Is there anything useful in here? Probably. A lot of hay bales. I don't see a lot of animals. It's kind of interesting that they have all this stuff here. Like, that's for putting milk in. Just a barrel. Um, so there's stuff here for, like, cows. Which, I mean, it makes sense, because cows eat corn, and there's a lot of corn here. Let's see. Little cow pens, and... Right in style! Hey, a picture of a Pontiac Fiero, look at that. They really tie these things together, they're like... Someone's dreaming about whatever, and there it is. Nothing there. This actually reminds me of, uh, is that a battery? No. Alright, this actually reminds me of when I was playing Perception, because there was a barn in Perception. Kind of like this. It's that rearranged itself. Music is getting ominous. Let's see. Is there horse bridles and horseshoes? And a bunch of them on the floor here. These are kind of useless. Although you can make those into magnets. I have seen that done before. Which is kind of interesting. Maybe not in this game, but in real life. In real life. That's a scale, which I can't get on. There's a thing. Nope, no. Just stuff. Light. Weird light. Weird lighting effect. More cow things. Uh, still can't jump. I can run now. Drill press. That's for making... This is for making, um... Yarn. Oh, there's a thing. A book titled Corn of the World. A book outlining the differences and similarities of corn species across the globe. Several chapters also discuss the color yellow. A few species are circled in a red pen, while no, no, no appears in many places across the entire book in blue pen. Hmm. Somebody is researching corn and they're picking the wrong types. Possibly. Or picking the right types out of a bunch of corns. Obviously something they would do on a mostly corn farm. Ooh, a broom. That's a... Oh, it's an item here. There's a pile of something or other you can sweep up with this, but you already knew that. What you didn't know is that the broom is haunted. This will not affect your adventure in any way, as the ghost is currently away on business. Oh. Can I use it? I can't do anything with it now. Hmm. Let's put these things away. Let's, uh... These are weights. Someone's been lifting weights and... Get pumped. There's a... Huh. Is that Ric Flair? I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. 
do 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 do. Nothing, nothing back here. It's a red herring. That's what that is. Those are all like bright light things you can pick up, but they're they're not. Not items you can t interact with in any way. Here is one half of a diagram in the folio. A diagram torn in half contains very complicated looking equations scribbled in orange pen. A drawing of a person and a DNA helix looks very important. You try to eat it at first, but change your mind when you couldn't find any salt. Why would I, why would I have tried to eat it? Seems like an odd thing to do with a half a diagram. Alright, so I don't see anything else up here. We found a lot of items here. So remember, based on quick save things, I'll start off back up there if I don't find anything else anywhere else around here. Let's see, that goes back to the house, but we're not going that way because there were things to explore. Back this way. No, that was where the tractor was. So, let's see. The silo's to the right. Have we already been there? There's a thing about power to the left here. Let's run down this way. Alright. Hmm. Some kind of lightning rod? Probably. A lone corn stalk in the middle of the field here. Which I can walk through. That's weird. Why is there a solitary corn stalk here? That's, that's so weird. Um... It's a box that does nothing. Uh, hmm. This is a clearly dead person. Electrocuted. With... Those are his nipples, aren't they? Hmm. Hmm. Gloved severed hand. That's, um... Okay, that's disturbing. Um... <laughs> let's see. A severed hand, perfectly preserved in the glove that encases it. It could come in handy. If you give yourself a hand and find a way to loosen and get that glove off, that first poem was intended, but not the second. <laughs> oh, I... oh, a hat. His hat. A very fashionable fedora. A very fashionable fedora worn by a fashionable person. Due to this, you are not putting it on your head, as you have not earned the right. On the inner tag, the owner wrote his name, Fernando. Hmm. I'm standing on his head, aren't I? No, no, I'm way over here. Okay, good. I was at one point, though. A charred name tag. It took you several hours of staring, but you managed to deduce that the name tag, in fact, belongs to the dead person. It was near, and that his name was Fernando. It took you several more hours to notice that the dead person was a lab assistant, and then five more minutes to realize you were trying to read the thing upside down the whole time. Because uh, it just said lab ass. See? <laughs> Alright, nothing here. So this thing electrocuted him. Somehow. Right, and we came from that way. There's a big rock. Toolbox. Nothing to do with anything. What's down here? More crates. More orange crates. Okay. Clearly, we are not meant to go that way at this time. So let's uh, get out of there. Let's see. So we did... We went to the silo. We did everything in the silo that we could. 
There's no other roads here. We went to... Went in the barn. Did all stuff in the barn. Went over there. There was... The tractor. And we can go anywhere else. Uh, back this way... We have nothing on this side. I did everything in here. So I think we're moving on. So we're heading back towards the vault door because that vault door I can now open with what I have. Do I have actually anything that I can use to work with the stuff that's in the house now? Um, no, no, no. But I have things I can use to open that door with. So I needed a hand. And I needed a disc. And I have those. So I feel like the stuff in this house we'll be coming back for later. The things that specifically I couldn't do, which were this, I had no way to get the thing out of here. And whatever I'm supposed to do with the sink here. Um... Ooh! Haha! -ha. Losing glove from severed hand. Slightly disgusting. Oh, I just have the hand now. Oh, that's gross. Totally gross. Severed hand. Once you manage to tear away from giving yourself an unending stream of high fives with this hand, you may want to find an actual use for it. And it's not to start another round of high fives. So this is how... Because I was wondering how the fingerprints... The handprint was going to work. That This is so gross. Uh... <laughs> oh... Oh, that's weird. Alright, I'm gonna put that away. So I just leave the glove here? I'm kind of like a vandal. I, I just destroy things. Leave them everywhere. Um, let's see. So we have the hand. And, um... Can I do anything else? Let's see. I don't have the stuff. Maybe, maybe this? Can I, can I... No. Um, I didn't find any pliers when I was downstairs, and I don't, I don't see anything in here that I could use to get that out of there, and I don't think there's anything else here that I could use, so we're gonna, we're gonna leave here, probably gonna come back here later, I would assume, because there's stuff still left, alright, uh, let's see, this is the side we came from, so we're going this way, Sort of doesn't have a doorknob on it. Got everything out of here. I don't think this is the right way. No, this was the outhouse. Did I miss anything back here? No. Okay. Now that I know where to run. This isn't so bad anymore. If I get lost. Vault is that way. Back past the reception desk. Which is, again, weird to have in a cornfield. This reminds me when I go to the park. There's, um... One of the parks near me has, like, a... Not like a hedge maze, but they have, um, paths cut out of their... The bushes there. And the paths... All kind of look vaguely like this. Is this the way? Is this the way? Let's see. The 
sees it away. There it is. All right, so we're gonna go. And we're gonna put that hand. Oh, let's. Oh my God. <laughs> Stuck in the hole. And that disc. And uh, it's left for a key. I don't have a key. Did I see a key anywhere? No. Clearly I'm supposed to find one. You? No, okay. English muffin is weird. Let's see, so I missed something back here. Clearly. There is nothing out there, so this this goes this is a dead end. There's some flowers here and nothing else. What am I missing? Show me game. I need to find something that looks vaguely like it'll fit in that slot. Check down here again. That windmill. Nope, can't go that way. Okay. Nothing around there. Now I went all the way through the house. And... The car I can't interact with. Give the house another once over. Nothing here that looks like it'll fit in that. Nothing lighting up anywhere. Those are just boots. Nothing up here, nothing on these. That, no. No. I've been pretty thoroughly over that kitchen. Nothing in the tub. Let's check the basement. Hmm. Can it direct with this again? Nothing on that looks like anything I can use. Nothing down here. Backyard. Not where I wanted to go. Other staircase. Let's go upstairs. Now did I like miss something up here? No. Nothing on the roof. Hmm. 
We're making so much progress tonight. I don't know what happened here. Suddenly. Suddenly. Those are just blocks. Uh, let's see. That was there. This is here. Did I miss something in here? Let's check up here. Again, because there's something. It's clearly something I'm missing. I know what it's shaped like. This is the thing I have to get from downstairs. But there's no there's no way to get it out of the device. We've basically been everywhere here. I've looked at everything, I've checked everything. I can't find anything. So... Back to... Back to the barn, I guess? And the silo? And we give the barn a very thorough looking over a second ago. So unless it was by the dead guy or something to do with the tractor. Hello, one more time. Oh! Right, right. Aha! Players! Yeah! I forgot about the, um, the corn that was on the ground. Obviously. Haha! -ha. There we go. And now, now, <laughs> a key fob. Oh, I didn't read the pliers. Oops. Oh, well, they probably had some kind of funny thing goes along with them. Uh, this warped key fob would be useful if you could flatten it back into its original shape. At first, you tried to do this by staring very hard at it. It didn't work, so you set up to find a tool that will do the job much better. Okay, so I have that mallet. 
And I know where this goes. Yay! Um. Oh, it's not this way. It's the other way. <laughs> Place you on the ground. And... Mallet. Now I don't have a mallet anymore. I just have an English muffin. And a keyfob. Key fob is in smash so perfectly that you can't help but, loo but toss it like a frisbee to see how far it goes. You regret your decision immediately. Three M's immediately. Can I go out that way? No, it's, it looks like you can go out this way. Wow, there's a freaky effect there. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a... It's a weird, like, echo effect when you run up to it. Like the rendering is happening. Which is probably exactly what it is. Okay, so what I'm going to do, what I'm going to actually do, is I'm going to cut this one here. So I feel like it's been about a half an hour. And um, then we'll pick up in the next one. So we're going to bring this to the, the thing. The door. And then we're going to go in. Alright, so I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.